What's up, Pluty Sports Gamer here, and yes, this is my first video in four months. I am trying to get back into the video thing, and I want to thank Tripman Gaming Network for motivating me a little to get back into it. So please check out his channel. He live streams VR games every day during the week, and he has his friend live stream on weekends, Bald Man Caven. So check them out, Tripman Gaming Network. So thank you for motivating me, Tripman. But this is a video about Brock Purdy, and yes, the 49ers are on a three-game losing streak. There's been a lot of criticism about Brock Purdy. I was praising him all last year. And they were like one of my best videos for views when the 49ers were on that big time winning streak and Brock Purdy was the talk of the league. But my biggest fears have come true after their 5-0 and start to this year. If any of you have seen my previous videos, I was really hoping Trey Lance would take the next step and become the 49ers quarterback. This was before Brock Purdy, but I was really hoping he would take that next leap. And even when Brock Purdy was in there, but he never did. But Trey Lance had the legs and he had the arm strength. And I think the 49ers really need that. This downfall the last three weeks could be attributed to Shanahan's offense. Teams now have a lot of video on Brock Purdy. So now they know what he's going to do. And you're seeing the last three weeks, defenses like shutting down the 49ers. Yes, they had a good start to the year. They were scoring like 30 points a game. But you see the same old, same old. So here's my criticism about Brock Purdy. And it's always been a criticism. I think he's too small. He's going to get injured a lot, I think, through the years. You've seen some, like that was a freak incident in the playoffs against the Eagles. But now he's getting concussed. He's going down a lot. The line is not really protecting him the best. So injury is a big fear of Brock Purdy. I think he's too small. I think he's going to get injured. He's going to be a Jimmy G throughout his career. He's going to have games where he's healthy, but then every so often during the season, I think he's going to get injured and miss a game or two. So that's one thing. The second thing is, if you look at him when he's under pressure, he has a bad habit of falling back and throwing. Most of the time he gets away with it, but there are going to be times where he's falling back, throwing up these lobs that's going to get intercepted a lot. It seems like more and more you're seeing him like fall back and throw. And it's not. You need, especially with him, he's not that big. He doesn't have the arm strength. He needs to step into it. But no, he falls back and throws. It's happening a lot. And it seems like, I don't know if the injury affected him. He's trying to get away from the defense, just falling back and throwing. I, I don't like that. And I don't like seeing him do that. And every time... I see him do that, I cringe, thinking, oh, it could be intercepted. Another criticism I have Brock Purdy is, yes, his arm strength. And I know it's a Shanahan's game plan to throw short, but the guy can't, it seems like he can't throw over 15 yards. 90% of the passes, I bet any money, are below 15 or less. And when you see him throw long, you can see the arm strength. He just throw, he just lofts it. There's not really a zip on the ball when he's throwing it deep. He just like lofts it and hoping the guy is wide open. And now you see teams nowadays, I think, more and more, they get more and more video on him. And if I was a defensive coach, I would just play man on the wide receivers. Play man on IU, man on... Jennings or Debo bring the safeties up and cover the running back and tight end over the middle 10 yards 90% like I said 90% of the passes are at that just short slants short outs and that's it and I think the last three weeks I think the defensive coaches are getting smarter and that that's why you're seeing the 49ers getting shut down because these passes are not working you're seeing more and more pressure on Purdy they're blitzing probably more because they know they don't need to fear the deep ball they just need to fear that short pass everyone says Brock Purdy is the savior of the 49ers I am skeptical about it yes I was gung-ho last year when they won 10 straight I was praising Purdy because I thought he had the accuracy to get this done to get that short pass the accuracy I thought he was Jimmy G 2.0 because he was more accurate than Jimmy G. He was a little smarter. Jimmy G seemed like he made the mistakes at the wrong time. And I was happy to see Brock Purdy take it over from him. Because it seemed like last year he was more accurate. But this year you're seeing different. You're seeing passes not so accurate. You're seeing him throw the ball a lot more behind the player. And not leading him. And I'm worried about this year. This was supposed to be their year. 
And I want I, I want to do another video on their defense because that's another story I want to tell about their defense. But this video is about Brock Purdy. I hope they turn it around. I think you're going to see more and more games low scoring them winning like 20 to 17, 21 13. Their defense has to step up for them to be successful. They have to keep the opponent's score low because Brock Purdy is not the type of quarterback that can lead from behind, in my opinion. You're not going to see him pull at Aaron Rodgers get that big comeback from like two touchdowns down or three touchdowns down and lead the team on quick drives. These drives are all going to be long. They're going to be sustained and they're going to take time. Hardly ever, except if you they get like a long, like a five yard pass that McCaffrey breaks through or Debo breaks through for a 60 yard touchdown. But you're not going to see the big bombs from Purdy trying to quickly get the 49ers back. So I think it's going to be a tough year for the 49ers to make it to the Super Bowl. I was hoping that Purdy would take the next step and improve, but it seems like he's going in reverse. He's making the Jimmy G type of mistakes. He's throwing the interceptions lately. And I can see that happening more and more because he doesn't have the arm strength to zip it into the receiver. It has to be perfect timing. And the coverage has to, they have to be open for him to get the ball. Those like sort of like lob passes. So let me know what you guys think. You think I'm smoking too much to think that Purdy is not the answer, in my opinion? I was hoping that Trey Lance would make the next step because I think the 49ers need that quarterback with the strong arm, the legs, and the accuracy, which Trey Lance did obviously does not have. And obviously, in Dallas, he's proven wrong. So I think the 49ers need to search for another quarterback. And I was hoping they would get Kirk Cousins back in the day before he went to Minnesota. And there has been rumors swirling that Cousins could, might possibly go to the 49ers. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? next year but this is Purdy's team right now and I hope I'm wrong that he can't take him to the promised land but we'll see please let me know your thoughts below comment like and subscribe thanks see ya